morning everybody it is Friday and um, I don't really have very much to talk about today but I, I wanted to mention a few things I noticed about movies and today I don't really have the answers but I'm gonna raise a couple of interesting questions and just some notice things that I noticed about movies if you're a movie guy you probably know the answers to all these questions probably not even a big deal to you but if you're not you're just a, uh, a normal average watch movie watcher like I am you may have noticed these things already if you noticed other things I want to like these uh, I want to hear about them um, basically the concept is this whole uh, a, a devoid of originality within movies uh, everything's either a rebake Re rebake rebake that's the new term <laughs> a remake a reboot a rehash a clone a carbon copy things like that so first concept is in the 90s we had a lot of movie clones so I think there was probably a lot of spying going on in the studios uh, you know Armageddon came out right around the same time Deep Impact did there were a couple of uh, dance-off movies that came off at the same time uh, Ants and A Bug's Life all at the exact same time and that was just the three that came to my head this morning I know there were a whole bunch more so I imagine that's from studio spying but you know what do y'all think do you know more uh, and where are your other examples of this you know the movies oh uh, how about The Prestige and um, The Illusionist uh, and it's funny because sometimes, you know, people argue over which one is better. Uh, and other times it's one's clearly the advantage. Frankly, I really prefer the prestige, but I think I'm the only person in the world who thinks that. I didn't get the illusionist. The prestige just whew, hit me. I love it. One of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, but then uh, we've got the whole uh, remake, rehash, reboot concept. I was talking with my father about the new Ghostbusters movie, which I finally got around to seeing the uh, answer the call. And I just, I, I couldn't stand it because I sat through the whole thing. And the only time I laughed was when they were referencing the original movie. The new jokes were just all vulgar and, um, uh, and dumb. I, every character in the movie was just a dummy. Um, there were no intelligent characters. And then I think the original movie, you had a lot of characters who weren't dumb. They were just jerks. Like, you know, the mayor and Walter Peck. And um, the only dumb character was Louis Tully. Uh... And I guess you had, you know, your, your receptionist who was kind of a Lewis Tully type, but I mean, he was just ditzy, uh, Kevin. Anyway, anyway, I, I'm not here to complain about that movie. Uh, it's, uh, it's the concept of, uh, starting over from scratch. Now you could say that's a reboot of a franchise because I guess you did have two movies and you had a cartoon and, and everybody knows those iconic characters, Fankman and, um, Spangler, uh, Stance and, uh, Zedmore and Tully, <laughs> but uh, it was almost more like just a remake because really there was only the two movies, so I got thinking, well, what else was there? Uh, my dad mentioned The Magnificent Seven. He said The Magnificent Seven, there was an original, and then there was The Return of The Magnificent Seven, basically The Magnificent Seven Two, which apparently wasn't very good. I've never seen either, uh, and then there was a new Magnificent Seven, but that was more like a remake. Re re there I go again, remake. How could... Here's the question to everyone in the audience today is, how could we use the term rebake as like a reboot? Uh, but then the things that really interest me are the ones that jump ship. The movies that turn into TV shows. Um, and I know there were a lot of these. Uh, or, or, you know, vice versa. But it's, I think it's when you take a movie and then 10 years later turn that movie into a TV show. That's when it really intrigues me. And I know we've done this a lot lately, but very little of it is coming to mind. Um, uh, Californication, was it? Uh, what about, um, when they're Friday Night Lights? Uh, there was another one. Crime show of some kind. I don't watch a lot of TV, by the way. The most recent television show that I watched was, uh, The Ranch. Which was okay. Yeah, it made me laugh. I, I thought it was funny that they got Wil they shoehorned, uh, Wilbur Valderrama in there also. Uh, but in any event... You know, there's a, a surprising devoid of uh, original ideas. Or I suppose maybe it's not surprising. I don't know. What do you think? But what really got me thinking about this is the movie The Arrival. And if you ever saw the original The Arrival with Charlie Sheen, uh, I like that movie a lot. But I saw it in the theaters when it came out. And I was born in 82. So I imagine that means I saw it when I was 11. Um, and I was in a sci-fi, but it, I didn't couldn't find any good sci-fi to watch. I think it was kind of a a dry 
There there wasn't a lot of sci-fi happening at that time. I was only men getting into Star Trek. I had only just gotten into Star Wars a few years earlier. Um, And I wasn't... I just remember not seeing a lot of sci-fi around. Uh, But I really enjoyed... Look at the graphics on this vehicle. They look really sharp. Bay lighting. Really sharp and, and efficient, too. Very inexpensive the way that was done. Here, let me show you. As you can see, they got a nice sharp black vehicle with really sharp yellow light lettering and some blue and green background. Um, really sharp the way that they did that because that's inexpensive, but it also is really eye-catching uh, relative to a, a full wrap. I used to do that as a, as a professionally. Uh, but then there's, of course, this new movie, just Arrival, which is essentially the same concept, but backwards in the way that clearly they're here we don't know what they're for whereas in the other movie it was only a few handful of people know that they're here um, and we know why they're here and they're here to get us but in any event uh, I want to hear more about what you think of movies and you know what if there has been a movie you saw recently that was original and awesome and you loved it what was it I want to hear about that too and as always have a nice day